Today I'm gonna review a I'm gonna review a video game, but not as a game. I'm gonna review it as a as a movie. So specifically, I'm talking about the cutscenes, uh, the cinematic cutscenes, you know, in the in the, in the game. And uh, uh, today I'll be reviewing uh, Miles Morales Spider Man for the well, it's the PS4. I guess the PS5 hasn't launched at this time. It's okay. Um, not much of a gamer these days. But uh, I have to say, like, uh, you know, initially I've never, I was never really fond of the Miles Morales character. I thought it was, you know, just a token character. But, uh, you know, a couple a year or so ago, uh, Sony put out a Spider-Man into the, into the Spider-Verse. I think that's the name of the movie. Uh, yeah, they put that out, and uh, it really fleshed out Miles Morales as his own character and put things in perspective, and I love the presentation of it. You know, it's a, it's a great character, and, uh, you know, I really don't mind him, you know. Yeah, there's some token aspects to his character, but uh, at this point, he's his own thing, and I accept him. You know, I don't mind having two Spider-Men, you know, especially since, uh, you know, I disagree with uh, the MCU version of... Uh, the same of uh, Spider-Man. So, uh, you know, based on that, when uh, Insomnia Games put out this uh, put out this title, you know, I was intrigued. And then I saw the visuals, and I was I was just like I was like, yeah, I'm gonna review this as a movie. And the game came out a couple of days ago, so I was able to look at the cutscenes in chronological order, and they tell a pretty good story. You know, it's a sequel to the Spider-Man game for him uh, a year earlier. It's an excellent game. And this contains the legacy of that. Uh, Insomnia's uh, excellent uh, handling of the, the IP. So, uh, Miles Morales is uh, taking over for Spider-Man, who's uh, out of town in another country with uh, Mary Jane. Uh, and uh, he's finding it a little hard to fill big shoes. And uh, the, the story takes pri place primarily in Harlem, you know, current 2020 Harlem. And, uh, yeah, there's some, uh, there may be what people consider some woke uh, images there, but it's okay. It's not it's not beating you in the head with it, you know, not that aspect of it anyway. But uh, Miles Morales is uh, it's a great game. It's, it looks fun, looks awesome. And, uh, no, I think, I think, you know, it made me wonder why we, we can't see movies that look like this, Spider-Man movies that look like this, you know. I'm really not a fan of the MCU, and I'm, I'm not a fan of the other stuff that they did with the character in the past. And I just wish they would, uh, you know, take this thing back and uh, redo it, you know, the IP, the character. But I feel like as in a couple of years, we'll just be seeing Miles Morales as a fully realized character, probably in the MCU. But in the, in the game, his... Uh, Miles Morales has recently relocated to Harlem with his mother, who is running for city council. And in the backdrop, there's a specter of gentrification in the in Roxanne Oil Company, a villain from the Marvel comics. Uh, there, it's not it's not Roxanne Oil Company in the game. It's just Roxanne, but it's run by a Steve Jobs type character who kind of reminds me of a, a cross between uh, Ewan McGregor's character and. It's a Harley Quinn movie, and uh, like Steve Jobs or James Spader. I kept thinking I was looking at Ewan McGregor or James Spader at his worst in the 80s, you know. And um, the game starts off with a great uh, opening sequence where Miles is uh, still undergoing training, and uh, him and Spider Man are trying to are escorting a, a convoy of prisoners to the raft, and, and one of them is Rhino. And in this game, Rhino is like, uh, with pretty much this game's version of the Juggernaut. He gets loose and he takes them on a wild ride on his back through several buildings and a, a mall. And uh, it's incredible. That is an incredible sequence. Well, not. And it was just like, man, I wish I could see this as a movie. Why can't they make a movie like this? But that question is still out there in the air. So um, at the conclusion of this, I'm not going to give away. There may be some spoilerish material here, so just... Take it how you want to take it, but uh, 
at the conclusion is Miles finds out that he's being entrusted with the city of New York because Peter is leaving. And Peter feels that he knows enough to take care of business around town. And Peter leaves, you know. Peter does his bid and he goes. He leaves. And from there, it's a Miles Morales story where he's trying to find himself as a, as a superhero. And I really like the, the character progression, the, the hero's journey in this, because he does come into his own pretty much. You know, and he's funny. His supporting cast is awesome, you know. Uh, they Finally, the character of uh, Genki Lee makes his uh, on-screen appearance as a game character, as an NPC character, you know, which makes you think about uh, the MCU version of Ned uh, in the, the, Sp- the Homecoming movies. Why not? They, they totally just ripped off all Miles Morales' his, uh, stuff and grafted it onto a Teenage P- Peter Parker. You know, shame on you, Marvel. But, um, <laughs> uh, Genki Lee is, uh, is, is welcome to the game. He's not, he's not a, a stereotype in any way, you know, he's a, unless you consider the intelligent Asian thing, but, uh, he's a real smart guy. He's personable. He doesn't, he doesn't grate on the nerves or anything. You know, he's thankfully subdued comedically, you know, and, uh, they show a they have a couple other characters and, uh, you know, I liked it, you know, it was pretty good. It establishes that all the characters are their own people with their own uh, sensibilities and sense of right and wrong. And uh, it's just awesome. It's awesome stuff, you know. Um, his the, the weak point of the game, I would say, is his uh, his rogues gallery. I mean, you have Rhino. Rhino is a standout in this game. And you have Roxanne. They're kind of like bland, along with uh, uh, new villains called the Tinkerer. And by proxy, uh, a group of uh, weaponized street toughs called the Underground. And it's just it's just an excuse to have like you know drone villains or whatnot. So that's why I take the star away from the game because uh, I think uh, maybe it would have been better to just see a, a couple of different types of super villains, you know, be, you know, besides the Tinker and the Underground, you know. But you got like uh, you know Rhino, he shows up a couple of times in this game in different versions, and uh, he's just incredible to see. But uh, once you initially see the Underground and the, the Tinkerer, you know. They have like a nano technology. And it's just like it just leaves me like kind of like uh, blah, you know. It's just like blah, you know. These guys are. There's one. The Tinkerer has weaponized these uh, these uh, troll street gang with uh, nano technology. So that means there's like magic. They can just make a gun out of nothing, or these huge fist gauntlets, or uh, guns, you know, just form them out of no- nowhere, or they already have it in it. This forms up, you know. They're shooting like sh- stuff like pulse rifles, and I'm like, man, if there's there's no way that shit would be going down in a, in the MCU, right? But you know, it's just a game, I guess. But I just kept waiting for like, <laughs> you know, I kept waiting for like Shield or the Avengers to show up and like snatch the Tinker and take her to a black site somewhere, because that's what would happen, you know, if some shit like that was going down street level. <laughs> but you know, it's, it's a it's a story, it's a fantasy and everything, so it's okay. But they. After after looking at it, it you know, all the cutscenes together, a uh, little bit of over three hours. So it's like a it's a little uh, bit of a chore watching it, especially because they become so bland. You get tired of seeing them. They have a similar aesthetic. You know, none of them are really different. You know, you have a couple of different type of character models, but they're really not different other than their leader, the Tinkerer. You know, and a bit of a spoiler, the Tinkerer is a female character of color. And she has a particular relationship to the hero, you know. And this is where, you know, I get into woke territory. Because, you know, I, I don't really want to complain about the woke aspect of the game. But I will say that I felt it was uh, very, very realistic, the, the relationship Miles Morales had with this villain. You know, especially in the, in the ethnic community <laughs> that we belong to. Like, if you talking about the black or... You know, it's bipartisan, uh, the, the Spanish community, the, the, you know, ethnic Latino community, you know. Uh, there was no, this character became insufferable at, towards the end of the game. It's just like, I hate this character so much because she's she's insufferable. You know, she will not take no for an answer, nor will she change her stance, or will she listen to reason and whatnot. And she was overpowered, whatnot. She was like, at one point in the game, she actually trashed Miles Morales like brutally, you know, he looked like he had been in a fight with uh, with the, with Mike Tyson or something. His face was jacked up, and he was laid late. Yeah, his friend had to come get him, you know, 
He couldn't even stand up if this female character had stomped the, the piss out of him. You know? I mean, just, just busted him up, man. And we're talking about a guy <laughs> that has the powers of Spider-Man plus extra. You know, Miles Morales can become invisible like in the movie, in the comic, and he can't shoot Venom Blast, you know? And he can uh, do other things, you know? But when this character started stomping him out, he was just taking it. He was just getting laid there. And the way they did it, it was a point of view shot of her face doing it while she was beating him down. And if you're the viewer, you feel like you're the character laying on the ground where this chick is just putting the boots to you. And it's just like, oh, man, this chick would be toast, man. I would fry this bitch. But when they finally meet up to have their last battle, it is a really long and drawn out battle. More, It's longer than it should have been, you know, in my opinion. That's why I kept expecting another villain to pop up but it never did you know it was just this female you know like acting like an asshole just stomping kicking shit out of him and just doing all this shit just had all this magic weapons you know she had like a she had a magic backpack which she, she could just take whatever she wanted out she could generate whatever she wanted out of that magic backpack you know to to, to counter his natural abilities that he inherited from spider-man and shit you know so yeah, it was a little disappointing. That that last fight was drawn out, and it was just stupid. It was over the top and shit. But it not, it takes nothing away from the character of Miles Morales, and I would definitely like to see more more games with this character from the same studio. No other studio really. Uh, I think Insomnia has their shit together when it comes to crafting a story, or whatnot. And they just had certain. I think when they made this game, they had a certain protocol. They had certain things they had to hit. They were probably given a list of things that had to be in the game. Yeah, it, maybe if you can look past some of that, you know, if it bothers you too much, like some woke issues or, you know, some people might be upset that they're seeing a character of color in the lead of a game. You know, maybe if you can look past that and you can enjoy the game. I'm not casting aspersion on anyone listening to this or who, who might enjoy the game. But I'm just saying there's some uh, stuff in there, you know. But I just found myself laughing and then ultimately frustrated with the female character that was overpowered. And, and so boneheaded, she wouldn't even listen to reason one night, like common sense. Even when he he demonstrated what was going on, when he showed her what was wrong, she still refused to listen to him, and she was trying to kill him one night. He eventually overcomes her through much struggle, more struggle than he should have had. And, uh, you know, it's, it's just drawn out one night. But I love the look of the game and uh, some of the redesigns of characters, you know. Miles Morales actually goes through a visual evolution from uh, being a, a street level hero to actually having a a modified suit, and they do a really uh, incredible montage of him coming up, him and a Genki coming up with a suit, you know, that can, you know, for his abilities, that's catered to his abilities. And uh, there's some nods to the MCU, you know, like Homecoming and Far From Home, you know, there's little nods there. You'll see them if you watch the, if you watch these movies before, you know. And, uh, you know, I'm pretty happy with it. You know, it's a pretty good movie. And uh, yeah, actually, it took, uh, you know, I'm into Spider-Man, into the Spider-Verse. Uh, actually did a really nice redesign of the Prowler character. They made him dangerous and scary. And in this game, the redesign of the Prowler is very practical, but it still has some of those same uh, sentiments and feelings in the redesign and his, the way he, he moves and everything, you know. So, you know. I have to, I say it's a good game, it has some thematic uh, issues, but it's solid, you know, I think it's very solid, and it's a worthy successor to the game that preceded it, you know, and uh, there is a uh, after credit scenes there, and I won't spoil those, but uh, I can hardly wait to see what Insomnia does with uh, the Spider-Man universe uh, going forward, you know, uh, they said that Miles Morales is his own thing, even though this is a sequel to the previous game. And I, I want to see sequels to Miles Morales and the Spider-Man game. I want to see how it, how it all turns out. It looks great, man. You know, I if they would cut this into a film, I would actually go to the theater and sit and watch it, you know? Yeah, maybe that's the way they should go, you know, moving forward. Because it seems like a lot of these uh, game companies understand the characters better than these studios that own these uh, IPs. Uh, that being said, though... Uh, Spider-Man Miles Morales, I will give it a, I would give it three stars out of five, or not. 
And I'm doing that begrudgingly because uh, I just wish it was longer. You know, I wish it was longer and had a little bit more variety as far as adversaries. And so I enjoyed the game, and I hope you do too. Or if you are not a gamer, maybe you can just go to social media and you can watch the cutscenes. It makes a, a great evening uh, if you're into that type of entertainment. That being said, uh, take care and have a nice day.